welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist, I'll put a link in the description below. So you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the Arcade. I'm going to Python. And then we were in the section here, Ying and Ye sorry, Ying and Ye Yang of Yields. A lot of Ys. Uh, number 66, Calc Final Score. All right, I'll delete this. I'll just reset it. All right, so we have to implement the code where the ellipsis is. So you're working on a revolutionary video game. This game will consist of several levels, and on each level, the player will be able to collect bonuses for each past level. The player will thus get some score determined by the number of collected bonuses. The player's final score is decided by the number of collected levels and scores obtained on each of them. The final score is calculated as the sum of squares of n maximum scores obtained. If the number of completed levels is less than n, the score is calculated as a sum of squared scores for each level, and the final result is divided by 5 as a penalty. The result is rounded down to the nearest integer. Given the list of scores the player got for completed levels and the number n, that determines the number of levels that you have to pass to avoid being penalized. Return the player's score, final game score. All right, so you got the list here, uh, scores, which is our scores on the level. And then n is the number of levels that we will use for scoring, the final score. So first thing you have to do is uh, sort these. So the highest ones are first, so descending. So you'd have 5 squared here plus 4 squared plus 4 squared, because those are the three highest ones uh, according to the n here. And then you're going to sum those squares, and that equals 57. Now in the case of where n is greater than the length of this scores list. Then we're going to do the sum of squares, so we're summing up uh, all the scores, the squares of the scores, and then we're dividing by 5. Uh, so that, this sum of squares gives you 61, and you divide it by 5. Uh, it gives you 12.2 because you have a, a 1 remainder on this, uh, 1 over 5, but they're going to round that down to 12. All right, so let's look at the code that they have put out for us already. So they're initializing a variable called res, which is equal to zero. And you can see that's what we're going to return. So that is the final score that we have to get from this function. And so you can see there's this try block. So for the, when you have this underscore, that means uh, that's notation in Python that you don't really care about the variable. Um, in this case, we just want to go uh, n times through the, uh, the generator that we're going to create here. So that's why we uh, don't care about this variable here. We don't care about what it actually is. Uh, we just want to make sure it cycles n times. And so if you don't know the range object, what it's going to do, uh, let's say if n equals 3, then what you're going to get from this range function here is you're going to get a list 0, 1, 2. So it's going to start with 0. Unless you specify something as an argument like 1, then it would start with 1. And it's not inclusive of the last number. Uh, so in this case, if n is 3, it's not going to include 3. It's going to be uh, n minus 1 is going to be the last integer. All right, so it's going to cycle through what's ever in this generator one at a time, and it's going to add them to the res. Um, so what's, what you're going to see is we have to put the squared uh, results of this list sorted already in this gen before it even gets to this code. All right, so we're going to do that right now. So let's use x as our variable, and then this two stars means that we're taking whatever x is to the power of some number. In this case, it's two. And since we have to sort the list, we're going to do 4x in sorted. So this is going to sort uh, scores list. And we need to reverse it. Uh, reverse equals true. Because if we don't reverse it, it'll do ascending by default. So that should give us the generator that we need. So in this case, it's going to start with 
5 because that is the highest number. And it's going to square that, so it's going to be 25 in this generator. Uh, and then the next one would be 16, 16, and then 2 is the last one, so that would be 4. So it's going to add to res here uh, to 25 uh, plus 14 when it goes through it the next time, and then another 14. And then it's going to be through this for statement, so it's going to get out of this uh, for statement and get out of this try block and return that 57. Now, if we have the case where n is equal to 5, uh, you're going to have the similar thing. So it's going to still have the 5 squared, 4 squared, 4 squared, and then it's going to add a 2 squared, which would be the last element in this generator. And then it'll try to do it again because n equals 5, so it's going to iterate the fifth time, but there's not an item there for it to grab. So it's going to go to this exception of stop iteration, and it's going to take your res, uh, which it's summed up so far, and do this integer division, which means it's going to round down anything uh, past the decimal, uh, and do that inter iteration division by 5. So that's going to be the penalty if we don't have enough uh, levels completed. All right, so let's go ahead and try and run that. Hopefully I did it correctly, and yes. So you can see that works out. So hopefully you guys were able to finish that or follow along with that. And you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.